Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, this should also be the episode where Momiji comes back and we figure out what Momiji is. And this should also be um, when Hana and Iwo want to go visit Toru. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, you can. <laughs> but he has. Momiji has to make an appearance in this episode because. Momichi picked up the plan the, the, the pamphlet flyer that Toru dropped. So yeah, Momichi has to be in this damn episode. Just fucking waiting for Hatahara to come up. He's gotta I feel like Hatsuhara might come by episode 10. If we're, like, if we're going by the way I think we're going. Because, like, I don't remember if episode 6 was the cultural festival slash Hana and Uo come to visit Toru. I don't remember. It's been, like, like I said, a long behind time since I've seen the original series. But I think probably after this episode, I'm going to check and just see. Because if it's, if it's not, then they're probably doing, like, two episodes in one. Which is smart, but then, like, once we get towards the end of the series, like, uh, mm, which I can't talk about yet until we get there. Yuki Fan Club, I can't. No, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> With Momiji, it's kind of obvious, but, like... So they're coming to you. Freaking Luigi. <laughs> Besides, Luigi wanted to come.
No, well, no, no, no. Toru's fine. No, I think I just got their names mixed up. No, 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 no. Hana is the other one. Oh, is a blonde. And I always did that every freaking when the first time I watched this damn series. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my adorable honey. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I mean, behind, besides you're behind the cloak, no one's gonna come. Yeah! <laughs> and Bunny! <laughs> yes, you get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's so weird to have him in the episode because, like, Harry doesn't come until I think, like, second half of the show. Cheese. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 Excuse me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, silly boy. Stop it! <laughs> I can't with him. Ah. <laughs> What's up? Well, 
No, wait, no. He was in this episode in the original version. Yeah, because eventually she is going... Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we do. No. <laughs> I see, I've always considered Hana and Ul like the parents of Toru. <laughs> He takes such good care of her, no matter what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hannah, they're going to have snacks. Like, my god, you even said this in the 2001 version. And I think she brought over, like, a whole bunch of snacks. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be so awkward. Their styles are just so <laughs> different from each other. You got my coal biker chick and then the electric chick <laughs> with feelings. Oh, Bobby! <laughs> Because <laughs> she just found out right now. You gonna go visit Akito or um, Harry? Pretty color. Yeah, but in a way, Toru didn't want to be a burden to you guys. <laughs> what back to what uh, back to black <laughs> yeah that's what you did Hmm. 
Now, is he going to turn towards the damn camera and we're going to see his face? Of course not. We're going to have to wait till the last dang episode to finally see his face. I think that's the hat where she, how she met Fool. Oh my god! <laughs> Here you go. That or that, I think that was Yuki. It was either Yuki or Kim. <laughs> no, I don't think you forgot about it. Unfortunately, yeah. She says that. Stop, I'm gonna cry. Show that part. Oh, it feels. <sighs> <sighs> <Cow>. <sighs> Just the feeling. Oh, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's hot at time.
Harry? Uh, Harry, how about no, 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 because I'm not ready for this story. No, no, no. No, I'm not ready. No, 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 not this one. No, this next up. Oh my god, no. Why? No, I'm not ready for this. Like, oh my god, like next week is gonna be so much more emotional than like last week's episode. Like, my god, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, Harry. Mm -mm. God, no, I don't know what to say. But I mean, okay. Yeah, so it was official. I'm guessing from what I remember, he was in this episode. And then the following episode is continuing about Harry. It just, I'm finally having a Luigi, my little bunny. <laughs> uh, I, I just need Hasaharu. And then I'm good. And, and Kana, Hasaharu and Kana. And Kana's not coming for a while. So I just gotta wait. But it was good. I think, like, literally this was two episodes in one because I think in the Culture Special episode, Hana and Uo didn't come over. And just to have them come over and hang out for, like, an, half of an episode was just so sweet. And I really hope that in this episode they would have, like, done the backstory of, I think it's um, Uo in this episode. But I think that is, like, possibly towards the end of the series like i said like after i'm done watching this episode and while it uploads um i mean edits i am going to check because like i i remember everything but like it's it just certain things i'm like okay did that happen in this episode or is it gonna happen like so much further from now but like oh god the fact that we're going into the what like uh I have to say, I don't even know, like, what number I would put episode 7 on, like, the emotional scale. Because, like, this episode, between, like, you know, her grandfather telling, ha um, not to Hana, Toru to go back to her true home, because she didn't feel there last week. Uh, between, no, between that episode and this episode coming next Friday, like, like, the next week is going to trump last week's episode like so bad in the emotional scale because it's so sad it's so heartbreaking that i like i remember one time i think i was like it was in, in ninth or tenth grade i rewatched that episode and i fucking cried like the whole weekend and i just like because it's it's really sad and i can't go into detail but like I think a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people will, like, dislike Harry or, like, because he, he is a very mysterious person in this episode. But for people who are wondering why he's so mysterious and everything, and then the, the why he um, suppresses the memories of people who know his, their secret, oh, yeah, you'll find out next week. But it, it's, like, oh, God, like, would I say it's more emotional than, like, the last two episodes of the show uh, no i think the last two episodes of the shows are of this show is very very emotional so i would say like for me this is like this next episode is like in my top 10 that <laughs> like if i ever sat and watched the old one again which if i ever did it between this week and next week i think i would cry again but i think next week when spring comes 
spring comes is going to just, oh God, I don't even want to think about it. I really don't because his story, my God, like, is so heartbreaking, sad, and just thinking about it right now makes me want to cry again, but like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cry until next Friday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of 2019's Fruits Basket. And if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 7. Bye, guys.